kick this one away, and off it goes. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And no chance to get away as they'll go so from the 17 now. Here's a first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now the first carry here for Frank Gore. And he'll get on third play here. This opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now Kelly. And he's got it past the 30, but the 32 now. Here's first and 10. On first down. It's James. And he can only last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's James. He can't get him down. He'll get about four as he's past the 35. Kelly. White. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And now off to the races, down the right side. They're going to have to come right back. They're going to have to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And tackled at the 21. Back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. Kelly now throwing after the inter. Under pressure now, and they get to Kelly. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Kelly is going to get this one out to his fullback. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Now into a sea of defenders, had intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. Second interception for him now here in this. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. That is caught at the seven. Team to zip. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he's up past the 20 to the 20. Here's the University of Miami, their offense, ready to get the drive started. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I have a 32 now. Here's first and 10. Now Kelly. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the You're end the of the first quarter of play. 14-0. Just a yard to go here on second down. James. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They run it with James. And nowhere really to go. Second and nine, just a yard on that last run. A play fake. Now Kelly. Rolling to his right. And Graham on the grab. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jimmy Graham. So following the touchdown, here's the Miami kick team to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Then what happened on that play? The LSU offense already up and at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. 
but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Now Burrow. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown. Oh, that... After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And ultimately cannot get this out to the back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. On second down, it's James. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And to take the clock all the way down and score, this will definitely help the cause. On first down, it's Kelly. And he will find his man on the outside. Panicked out there, the weight of carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll make it a second down. Kelly to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. To this point. Come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. To throw, Kelly. And this is going to be incomplete. No move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Now Kelly. Dancing to his left. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets this one. How about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, Kelly. James has got it. Complete. And he's going to be taken down right. Second and 10. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by a South Florida native, Patrick Peterson. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. One back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. It is fielded right at the goal line. Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. He's got a man complete. And all the way. The big shots downfield. When you think a defense least expects it, and I think the first play of the third quarter qualifies, they came right out firing. That's how you send a message to start the second half of a game. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Over the middle of the back of And he gets it inside. Everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Now this one to his running back out of the back. First catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Yeah, 11 mighty, 11 mighty. 
to the air again, Burrow. Escaping the pressure right. Complete, Jefferson the target. Accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. And it's caught. Touchdown. Clyde Edwards away. There to... After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he'll be stopped right around where... Here's the University of Miami, their offense, ready to get the drive started. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively. To throw again on second down. Kelly, the connection made. It's Graham. And they... What is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but the... Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they've brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Now here's a throw. It's complete. And he is tackled inside the four. Freaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. <laughs> On first and ten, Kelly. There goes a deep ball. End zone. And incomplete on the deep. Him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. On second and ten, Kelly. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Bell on EA Sports. To throw is Kelly. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by the Honey Band. Way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game, go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Steps away to his left. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. Oh, wide open, complete. And Brights, and that'll increase their lead to 28. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And no alley to be found. To back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, they're the only way you can get it done. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Kelly. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Yeah, he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Here's Kelly to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And now here's another interception. Picked off at the 21. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions.